gentlemen of the highest esteem is in search of a squire. High atop the beanstalk. Go there and aid him in his most illustrious quest. <coughs> Who knew heroism required so much math? My dutiful friend and squire, you are here. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Adventure awaits. Adventure and a princess. A knight never keeps a princess waiting, huh? Ah, nothing quite so valorous as rescuing royalty. You trouble yourself over much with the mundane, my friend. This is a quest for love. Now. Quickly, to the Cyclops lair, and always remember to take the scenic route. Life's too short, Squire! <laughs> this one-eyed fiend holds my beauty captive. Who knows how many brave souls have died by its hand trying to rescue her, as we do now? Squire, look! The monster's mushroom minions! We must defeat them! Does this guy think the clock tower with one eye is a cyclops and we're just going along with it? I mean, he needs help, like professionally. You're rolling dice with a teenager to swing imaginary swords, boo boo. Okay, I see your point. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cyclops into a frenzy. Quickly, my friend. We must fight back, lest he kill us both. How about you, foul Cyclops? Oh, my heart's just not in it. Look, it's just a clock. Harry, repost, remis, praise the fair, mulene, s'il vous plaît. Pourquoi pas? Ha ha ha! Let's start it. Cyclops is down, but who knows for how long? Quickly, Squire, quickly! To the castle's keep, afford he rises! Thy name is Rivote. The Cyclops jolt me with some foul ire. I can scarce go on, but hark! I hear the princess cry. The prison will help me. Find the princess. The cry of a princess. I'd recognize it anywhere. Hold fast, princess. Your rescue approaches. Shout! I can't hear you over this! Oh, damn it! I see. This doll must be his princess. A keepsake of a lost love, no doubt. swears to know my love is near. Have you brought me my sweet, sweet daffodil? Ah, yes, the princess. I have her here. Why, squire, you must be quite blind to think this common maid a princess. Uh, meaning no offense, madame. The princess has the tall and straight back bearing of royalty. The slim silhouette of noble refinement and has long blonde hair, straight as a quiver of golden arrows. Quickly, quickly, go get the real princess! Well, I suppose saving an imaginary princess is better than saving none at all. Princess, with me. Why? Have you the princess at last? Safe and sound. Was there ever a doubt? <laughs> ah, now that we are reunited, our quest nears its end. But what's this? It seems a Cyclops is up, and it's none to please with us. He summons his horticultural horde. Come, Squire, to arms! Darling princess, in a scant few hours we departed. I have written you a dozen poems. I beg you, allow me to spill forth a lyric of or five that I might express my overflowing affection before it drowns me. This one I wrote when I tripped on a rock in front of you. <laughs> when first I beheld you, issue so sweet, I fumbled and fumbled and fumbled my step. You slipped me and trip me right off my feet. You might even say, in a word, you swear. Do you like it? You hate it, don't you? Your silence speaks clearer than my poetry on our express. Very upset. This was going to be a dream. Very short dream, my dear, but, but such a dream it was. <laughs> Whether a tavern or two, my love, she lights up any room. My floor's never dusty, for she is my trusty. Right, and her faith. See, 
Love sweeps away the dust, like a, like a brush or feather duster or, or, or some third thing it sweeps, yeah? It's a metaphor. <laughs> Did you think for a second I would leave you in the clutches of the wretched one I missed? Nay, very more. I learned of your circumstance. I took action straight away and made camp to wait for my spire to arrive to help me rescue you. No. Yeah. Uh, my squire retrieve you. Is this guy ever shut up? I've seen this happen before. He's in a low trance. We're gonna have to get physical to snap him out of it. <laughs> uh, no way, girl. I only narrate up to fifth base. After that, you on your own. No, I'm saying we have to hit him. Get your mind out of the Wait, what's fifth base? You don't know fifth base? Fifth base is tea and crumpets, but without a chaperone. <laughs> Just talking about it feels scandalous. Wait, I thought fifth base was exchanging file directories with totally lossless compression. Where are you guys getting all these bases? It can't be. And yet, my sweet, tell me true. Has your beauty yet increased since last we held one another? You've done, you've done something. Don't tell me. Um, a new varnish, no? No, no, you, uh, you trim your bristles, have you not? Uh, whatever it is, it is... I must say, quite uh, stirring, huh? Looking at you now, I find myself transfixed by your rapturous gaze. Ah, let us bask here in the pool of love shared silence for what trite poetry could hope to capture the quiet beating of two hearts as one. Shh, sh hush, my love. Do not answer. Just let this moment last forever. Mm. Don't just stand there. Adventure awaits. Adventure and a princess. A knight never keeps a princess waiting, huh? Squire, your quest is complete, and yet, I confess, ours is just beginning. We must away to that grand adventure called love. Remember all I've taught you, and you shall go far. This world is full of adventures. You need only keep your eyes and your heart ever open to its wonder. Now, bid me adieu, fair squire. I must away with a swiftness. A knight never keeps a princess wedding, after all. Your strange manner has moved me. I shall always remember you. Farewell, Ron. No, Sir Revote. A finer knight I have never known. Adventure! I sincerely hope that was a magic room.